Hey guys, welcome to my week 5 video. Um, I'm going to be discussing how to set up an EQ using um, an actual mixer EQ settings um, just the way that we've seen in the lesson. So this is the DAW that I'm using. I'm using Studio One to do this demonstration. This is the standard Pro EQ plugin that comes within the DAW. Um, there's a low, medium, high frequency, there's a low cut, there's a high cut and uh, there's a low, medium and a high medium as well. So without complicating it further, uh, let's look at, this, um, look at this picture that I took of my mixer. Now the first section of the mixer is a trim knob for the low cut. So this is set at 75 hertz at 18 decibels per octave. That's the slope. So let's remember those settings. This is the low cut. Let me turn it on. So we're setting this at 75 hertz. And since I don't have setting for 18 decibels per octave, so I'm setting it at 24. So our low cut set up. Let's go to the next settings. So these are the preamp knobs. We can skip these. Let's go to the EQ knobs. Um, this is the high, which is at 12 k hertz so let's go back let's turn on the high um, and let's set it at 12,000 hertz so there you go that's the high that's popped up the mid is a range between 100 hertz and 8,000 hertz the center being 800 so let's set the mid frequency turn it on and let's set it up at 800 hertz there you go that's the mid the low set up at 80 hertz let's turn on the low frequency and set it up at 80 hertz so now you can see um, we have our basic equalize setting done in our DAW. This is our low frequency that's set up. With the gain knob, we can increase and decrease our low frequency. Using the gain knob, it's the middle frequency, this is the high frequency, and this is our trim knob from the mixer. So this works exactly like the mixer would so you can you can imagine those knobs that were there on the mixer now to be these knobs these gain knobs that control that particular frequency and you can alter frequencies possibilities are endless um, another add-on in this plugin that you wouldn't have seen on the mixer was this Q knob or the filter quality knob so let me just demonstrate this to you so if I, if I increase on mid frequency and if I want my slope to be steeper I can turn up my filter quality knob I can just have a little bit of a notch filter if I want a specific frequency so let's go back so now that I have this set up and this is my my default um, setting based exactly like on the mixer I'll show you how to save it there's a button here click store preset let me call it mixer settings and okay so now I have mixer settings in my drop down over here and every time I click it I'll get this particular setup so to, to quickly wrap it up guys I had this little photo taken from my mixer which had a trim knob and knobs for high mid and low Mapping these exact frequencies, I went to my plugin, my DAW, and I applied the same settings using these particular knobs here in the DAW plugin, set to the exact frequencies, and stored this particular preset. Hope you enjoyed this short lesson. Um, I'm waiting for your feedback and your your ratings. Um, I hope you have a good course and best of luck for the last week. Thank you.